here. I am fucking doing it. The amount of people who come to me and she says, Chibble, I want why are you doing the Twilight review? Why is the next Twilight review? Seriously, why is the next Twilight review coming up? Well, I'm doing it now, fucks. Oh, it has taken me almost six months to do this. This film is so, so bad. But luckily, I went and robbed the Abbey Inn of all its alcohol. So this is one of the little things I stole from the Abbey Inn. Well, I'll be fucked. It's water! Okay, I mean, this film might not be too bad. I mean, it does have werewolves, and werewolves are pretty fucking cool. I mean, An American Werewolf in London is one of my favourite films, and that was werewolves, so... Let's have a look. Okay. Yes, it's a moon. Get on with it. Oh, come the fuck up. Oh, you know what? Fuck this. Is this still actually fucking going on? This is the longest, most pointless way of getting a fucking title going. I mean, what's wrong with doing something like this? Well, that's pretty fucking awesome. So, the film starts off with that bitch Bella from the first one sees some old whore or something, but hey, it turns out to be a dream. Yes, it's an ultra cool dad from the first one. Sexy motherfucker. Happy birthday. I thought we agreed no presents. You ungrateful bitch! Child is well better human being than you are. You should go fucking die. Oh, no, wait, no, I did that joke in the last review. Don't remind me. Well, they're all hypno set in, and now she's actually going out with this creepy fuck. No, it isn't. I'm 109. Okay, so he's an old man posing as a schoolboy. I think somebody better phone Chris Hansen. Well, maybe I shouldn't be dating such an old man. Mm. You think? It's gross. I should be thoroughly repulsed. Well, I am, bitch. Hello, biceps. Bitch, you should see my cock. Really bad for you. <laughs> well, I'm just filling out, Bella. You should see my man meat. Of course you did. I saw this the other day and thought of you. Catches bad dreams. Wait, so this gimp Jacob got it, this bar the fucking birthday present, yet her boyfriend doesn't? What kind of a wank of a boyfriend doesn't buy the girl for a present for the birthday? Can't trust vampires. Trust me. <laughs> Edward made a funny. And because it's her birthday, the Collins throw her a party. Fuck knows why she's a bitch. Ow. Paper wow, no shit. I actually thought an invisible man came and stabbed you in the finger, you stupid bitch. So this blonde haired gimp tries to attack her because of a little finger bleed. That is just so stupid, it's unreal. Oh, I tear my pants again, oh no. So the next day Edward dumps Bella. Bitch, you get shit kicked. So now she's not getting any throbbing vampire meat from Edward Cullen, she becomes a depressed bitch. But to be fair, I didn't really spot any differences because she always seems to be a dull, lifeless, depressed hoe. So Charlie... Sexy motherfucker! ...wants to get rid of this hoe as well. What? 
If you're going to Jacksonville, live with your mother. Well, instead of that, she goes on a motorcycle with some rapist. <laughs> she sees the, an Edward Cullen goes, That is so fucking creepy, he's still stalking her! I mean, can you put a restraining order against a ghost? I don't know. Okay, what I'm about to say to you is so ridiculous, I doubt you'll believe me, but you have to, right? So basically, she's going to ride a motorbike so she could possibly see a ghost of Edward Cullen. That is so fucking ridiculous. So she gets extreme mullet to help her. He makes me feel better. So why don't you shag him? I mean, he makes me feel alive. Or at least give him a hand job behind the shed. The hole in my chest. Well, when I'm with Jake, it's... It's like it's almost healed. So why do you stop just fingering yourself over Edward Cullen and fuck Mr. Mullet? So now for some reason she goes to the center with this fanny. Well, she goes with Jacob as well. Oh, sorry, I need to go for shit. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez. What a marshmallow. Whoa, 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 Jacob. Just you watch out. You might hurt his feelings with an insult like that. So the next day, Bella goes to give uh, Jacob a turn off for being so nasty to the blonde guy by calling him a marshmallow. You cut your hair off? Nah, he just dyed his hair invisible, you stupid bitch. So Bella goes somewhere and finds the only black guy in this whole saga. I don't believe it. Ah! It's a shit CGI wolf! Ah! Okay, this is pretty scary. I'd be scared if three obviously gay men were in my garden. What the fuck was that? Now come on! If a human was going to turn into a big fucking dog, you think it might hurt? I mean, look at this! I mean, you actually think he is turning into a wolf because he's in that much pain? I mean, that guy was just like, oh, look at me. I'm a dog. Look at this. It's so fucking stupid. I mean, I hate CGI, and that is the worst ever use for it. Fucking wankers. Jake, run! Oh great, so he's a fucking werewolf. Well, she hasn't got much luck with men. I mean, she was fucking a vampire, now she's fucking a werewolf. Why can't she just go out with someone normal? Like Penman. God, I love Penman. And Charlie. Sexy motherfucker. Goes out hunting with a guy from Die Hard 3. Fuck me, it's Scarface! Say hello to my little friend! But really, nothing else happens. I mean, there's some ginger bitch, but I really don't know who she is, or. I don't know. And Edward Cullen tries to kill himself because he thinks that Belle is dead. Yay! And then Belle decides to be a vampire, but I actually thought she was a vampire because she's already pale and she looks dead. The thing this film need more of was definitely Charlie. Sexy motherfucker. Film is terrible. I mean, it's not just bad. It actually killed my friend Kyle. And another, it's just so gay and the thing is just boring. I mean, at least the first one had lots to laugh at and... Oh no, it's the poofy vampire. Shabalang one. Oh, what are you wanting, you fucking poof? I am sick and tired of you making fun of Twilight movies. They are beautifully made films about love and romance. How dare you? How dare you make fun of them? Oh, I've, I've had enough of you. Just sit your fucking gay ass down there. Listen, you poof fuck. I'm gonna make you watch American Werewolf in London. Fucking Nosferatu. From Dust Till Dawn. And Lost Boys. I don't wanna watch these. Some of these films are 18 and I, I can only watch films at 12 rating because I'm a little poof. Oh, I don't wanna watch this. I'm off for a while. I'll be back when you finish.
Oh, fuck. Chumalang one, you've inspired me. I'm gonna go around fucking everyone I see, drinking drugs and rock and roll. But most importantly, I'm gonna suck more blood. Starting with you. Oh, fuck. Dog, fuck off! Motherfucker! Oh, that's fucking that's heavy. Oh, fuck. Oh, bollocks. Oh, chef got my shotgun and machete. I tell you, it's no easy being perfect. I'm gonna make you my slave, boy. No thanks, I already have a life. Vamp see what you get vampire see what happens when you fuck with trouble on one sexy motherfucker sexy motherfucker sexy motherfucker